Iala MP Simon Bogwa and three other people will be spending the night in police cells. The four were arrested earlier today in connection with the assault on former NCBDA boss Timothy Murioki last week. Citizen TV has learned that police intend to detain the three until the five suspected goons captured on camera are revealed, as Jackie Maribé now reports. You know me and I know you. In the glare of rolling cameras, Five daring men in broad daylight roughing up one man, all in alleged defense of the capital's governor. None of these men have been arrested and brought to book. The police only indicating promising leads. They went ahead and offered a total of 2.5 million shillings for the whereabouts of the five men captured on camera. And Tuesday, they would make arrests to show for it. Four people, among them Iala legislator Simon Bogua, would have their lunch at a hotel in Kilimani area disrupted by unlikely guests. Police arresting the four in connection with the boulevard assault on Morioki. Simon Mbogua, Benjamin Udiambo, also known as Solomon, Stephen Sangira and Otieno Ombok, also known as Jamal, all booked at the central police station as at 3.30 p.m. this afternoon. Sources telling Citizen TV that they were to be detained until all the five suspects are produced. Despite the quote-unquote goons openly stating that they were acting in the name of the Nairobi governor, Sonko was quick to distance himself from them. <laughs> I'm just appealing to the police. Let them investigate this case. The goons were seen. But wait. These photos emerged of two of the suspects of the governor at a past event, casting wider the aspersions that he may, in fact, have been linked to the attack. Mbogwa, as well, is no stranger to controversy, recently making headlines over his close ties with Sonko and the underhand running of county affairs, which they both quickly denied. The four remain at this central police station. Jackie Marie Bay for the big question.